Good day, I am Musical Madison Cantillo and for today I'm going to perform the administering oxygen by cannula or face mask. So the rationale for doing this procedure is to deliver an oxygen gas so that it will help the patient to breathe. The patient also can receive oxygen therapy by or from tube resting on their nose or by face mask or a tube placed on their trachea or a windpipe. So prior doing all of the procedure, we need first to verify the doctor's order. The rationale is for us to be sure if we're doing the right thing or if we're giving an appropriate procedure to the patient. Next is we need to prepare all of the equipments that we will be needing. So for this procedure, we need to have a simple face mask. Next is the cannula or the nasal cannulae. And then next, of course, we also need to have an oxygen equipment such as this oxygen tank together with humidifier and the flow meter. So all of these equipments are all improvised since we are on a lockdown and we'll do an online learning. So after that, we need now to perform hand washing technique or observe other infection control procedure. The rationale is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms. And also, we have to identify the client and explain plan and procedure to him or her. The rationale is for us to verify if we're handling the right client and of course, in order for him or her to have an awareness what we will be going to do or how she or he can cooperate. Next is we have to provide privacy all throughout the procedure. The rationale is for in order for the patient to be comfortable while doing the whole procedure. Okay, so now we'll be setting up the oxygen equipment together with the humidifier. So let us assume that this is now the oxygen equipment together with the flow meter and the humidifier. So the first thing that we have to do is to attach the flow meter to the wall outlet or a tank. So here, this is the flow meter. So we have to attach it on the wall outlet or the tank. So let us assume that this is now attached. Next is we have to fill the humidifier bottle here it is the humidifier bottle we have to fill it with the uh, distilled water if needed so let's assume that it is now filled here next is we have to attach the humidifier bottle to the base of the flow meter so let us assume that it is already attached so here it is the humidifier bottle and it is the base of the flow meter. So we have to attach the humidifier bottle to the base of the flow meter. So that will be there or that how they looks like. And of course, after that, we will now attach the prescribed oxygen tubing and delivery device to the humidifier. So here, we'll attach what is the prescribed oxygen tubing or the delivery device so after that we have to turn on the oxygen to the prescribed rate and make it sure that it is flowing correctly we have to check if the oxygen is flowing through the tubing and then set the oxygen at the flow rate as ordered of course it is important that we follow what is the order so after that we will now apply the appropriate delivery device so it is what i have mentioned a while ago so we're doing a here we're using a cannula or nasal cannula and a face mask or simple face mask for the as a delivery device so firstly the nasal cannula in using this kind of oxygen therapy the patient is able to eat drink and speak because it is a lightweight and also it is much more comfortable for the patient to wear so before doing that we need first to introduce ourselves to the patient so good morning sir i am risical madison cantillo and i will be putting a nasal cannula and a face mask to you is it okay okay all right so let's begin for First, the nasal cannula. So in doing this, we need to put the cannula with prongs downward. 
and we'll put it on around the patient's head and the elastic band should surround the ear of the patient on their their chin all right so if the cannula cannot stay in place so we have to put a tape on the face of the client so that it will stay in place next is we have to pad tubings and band over ears and cheekbones only if needed so there we're done on the nasal cannula let's now remove so let's proceed now on the simple face mask or the face mask it is often used on the clients who has minimal respiratory distress and usually used for mouth breather patients so in doing this we need to put the mask on the client's face and uh, attach it on the nose and downward next is we have to fit the metal here this is the metal on the nose of the patient so that it will contour the face of the patient and he will be comfortable so next is we have to secure the elastic band so that it will not move and it will fit on the patient's face and the next is we need to pad bands behind the patient's ear so here so that it will secure it will be secure so that how it looks like and there is a tubing there so that it will connect on the humidifier so after doing all of the procedure now we'll need to remove all right we have to assess the client's vital signs also the level of anxiety and the color so when the procedure is done we have to after care all of the materials that we used and then document all of the procedure that we've done thank you